Now to the big test of those brand new toll lanes on I-4. This is the first time drivers commuting home are getting a chance to try them out. News 6's Eric Von Inken is live in Altamont Springs, keeping an eye on the interstate for us. So Eric, how's it been going out there? Well, Lisa, look, as you might expect, right about now through downtown Orlando, the traffic is quite heavy, but check this out. So this is the traffic coming from that area. So we're looking westbound towards Tampa and you see on the far left there, those are the general lanes of I-4. They're thick, but look just to the right of that. These are the new toll lanes. You can see very few cars in those lanes. It's kind of been like that pretty much all day. And for the most part, drivers seem to be getting it right and following the signs in those express lanes. I almost got hit. <laughs> Somebody like veered off. Alicia Haig says a driver next to her decided to take the new I-4 express lanes at the last minute. I'm just driving. I'm on my way to Disney and this car just swerves four lanes over. I just slammed my brakes and I was like, where is he going? And then he was going in the express lane. He wanted to get over. But despite the close call, at least for the first half of the day. Some of y'all using the express lanes, not a lot, which is good. We saw no crashes or even delays in the new toll lanes in the center of I-4. Right around noon, the driver of this white SUV pulled over for a medical emergency. A fire truck and ambulance blocked one lane for a very short time, but then traffic continued to flow in the other lane. Exits and entrances to the express lanes are clearly marked, especially because they don't line up with the exits and entrances to I-4. And the speed limit is also clearly marked. Some drivers, though, did ignore those signs. The only thing I saw was uh, they had some speed traps on there since that they knew everyone was going to start using them. So I saw a lot of people get pulled over, but... <laughs> And troopers continue to say that's the big thing that they're watching and worry about. We told you at five how right in this on ramp here, we were watching a trooper who was posting up and every few minutes he would catch someone speeding and take off and then pull that person over. So they keep handing out tickets and warnings and a warning to you. If you don't want to get one, slow it down. They're going to be out here for a while, they say. For now, live at Altamont Springs, Eric Von Eich and getting results. Six. Eric, thank you. Now, if you have not used the new express lanes yet, transportation leaders are urging drivers to take a look at their interactive trip planner. We have posted a link to that at clickorlando.com.